to tackle the issue uh, throughout the country, not okay. just for counties. Okay, explain to me this. And, you know, and I'm playing devil's advocate here, yes. but yes. seven governors facing corruption charges, seven former governors, right? From Daniel Waitaka to Ernestus uh, Mudomi Njuki, Ferdinand Waitito, Okoth Obado, uh, Moses Lenkulal, Evan Skidero, Mike Sonko. Yes. All of them facing corruption charges. Those are seven out of 49. Out what, of what is that percentage? Out of 47. And yes. let me tell you another thing. Uh, even, uh, even when you are discussing those issues, there are also positives that happen in that area. The number of people working in those counties are thousands and thousands. And if there are thousands and thousands, are they all corrupt? Are there positives in this? And I want you to look at also the positives on devolution on the national political landscape. For, 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 for a change, Kenyans are hardly talking to tri tribalism now. For a change, Kenyans uh, are not talking about being sidelined on economic development. Because uh, devolution being one, I think the best part of the, of the 2010 constitution has assured fairly equitable uh, allocation of resources. And I want to urge you to look at the spending in those counties. I know there are problems, for example, the, the issue that has that bedeviled the national government, the capture on uh, procurement. Mm. Uh, we, we also have to fight the capture of procurement at the county level, whether by, count, by, by officials of the county or by cartels within the counties. But nevertheless, if that money could be spent at the ward level, at the project management level, Vijana Wataanza Kua now juice. They will now start doing businesses. They have become contractors. There are more contractors now in rural Kenya as opposed to what it was before 2013. You will find young people coming straight from work and within a year or two, they are okay generally. And there is pending from around there. And therefore, I think what we only need to discuss is how to improve on uh, procurements and levels of spending. Mm. Yeah. Prof, you agree? I agree entirely. And I'm going to challenge you, my namesake, JKL. Mm. 